26. Describe a family celebration that you remember. You should say what you were celebrating, who was present, what you and your family did to make the celebration special, and why you enjoyed the occasion. I guess I could begin by saying something about what I were celebrating, so I think I would have to choose my sister's wedding day, which took place a few years ago in the town where I grew up. For my sister it was the biggest and most important day of her life. Going on to my next point which is who was present. I really need to add that I think there were around 100 people at the marriage ceremony, which was held in a church. Even more people came to the party, or the wedding reception as we call it. After the ceremony, of course, most members of my family were there, as well as the groom's family and a collection of the bride and groom's friends and colleagues. And now with reference to what I and my family did to make the celebration special. The point I wanted to make here is that my mother made sure that the church and the reception venue were nicely decorated, there were flowers everywhere. Obviously we all dressed for the occasion. And there were bridesmaids, gifts, a huge wedding cake, and so on. And in conclusion if I have the time to answer the question of why I enjoyed the occasion. Really I should mention that it was great to see my sister so happy on her big day. The ceremony was perfect, and we all had a fantastic time at the reception. It's rare for me to see all of my family and friends together in one place, so that's probably what made the day so memorable for me. 9. Describe an interesting lesson that you attended. You should say where you attended this lesson, what it was about, and why you found it interesting. I'm going to talk about an interesting science lesson. All right then. In response to the first question of where I attended this lesson, so I think I would have to choose secondary school when I was 14 or 15 years old. Going on to my next point which is what it was about, I really need to add that it was quite a long time ago, so I can't remember every detail, but the lesson was about respiration. We learn about how the lungs work, how we breathe, and how oxygen passes into the blood. The science teacher also talked to us about the effects of smoking on the lungs. And now with reference to why I found it interesting, the point I wanted to make here is that because my science teacher, Dr. Smith, always introduced new topics by showing us a video. We watched a short film about how respiration works, and I found this much easier to understand than a science textbook. The film showed diagrams of the lungs to explain the breathing process. Later in the lesson we saw real photos of healthy lungs and lungs that had been damaged as a result of smoking, they had turned black. I think the image of a smoker's lungs is the reason why I remember this lesson. 8. Describe a modern building you should say, where it is, what it is used for, and why you like dislike it. I'm going to describe a modern building all right then, in response to the first question of where it is, so I think I would have to choose Manchester. It's called the Beatum Tower. And it's the tallest building in the city, with about 50 floors. Going on to my next point which is what it is used for, I really need to add that although it's called the Beatum Tower. Most people know this building as the Hilton Hotel. In fact, the bottom half of the tower is the hotel and the top half is apartments. The apartments are expensive because the location and views make them very desirable. And now with reference to why I like it. The point I wanted to make here is that I'm not sure if I like the design of the building, it's just a huge glass tower, but it definitely stands out. It has become a famous landmark in the city. You can see it as you approach Manchester, and it's an easy place to meet people because it's so distinctive and easy to find. The most interesting thing about the Beatum Tower is that there is a restaurant on the 23rd floor which has spectacular views of the city. It's definitely the best vantage point in Manchester because there are no walls, only huge windows, so you can look out over the city in any direction. I'd recommend anyone who visits Manchester to go there and experience the view.